Yo, what's good with y'all? Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a little health bar and stuff. Be a little UI, like at like, the top of your screen. Well, it depends where you want to put it, but I'm, for the video, I'm going to put it at the top of my screen. And then it will display my health. Like, it, listen, like obviously, if I'm at max health, it will show it full. Then, like, as my health decreases, then it will slowly go down and stuff. Before we get into the video, you already know, you already know what's up. The link to my Discord and Roblox Goob are in the description and stuff. You guys can join the Discord to get help with scripting or other Roblox dev things. Join just to talk and chill with people, just sh show support and love, or she just if you have video ideas or she just anything for the channel or Discord server completely, depending on whatever your interests are and stuff. But yeah, they'll join up. Links are in the description. Appreciate you guys on the support. We close to 200 subscribers, so let's, let's run it up. But I bet let's get into it. All right. So first thing first, we're gonna need, of course. Add in a screen GUI into starter GUI. Call this our um. We'll, call it, we'll just call it health GUI. Then we'll insert two text labels. Okay. Now, obviously, like you could make your bar like a like like a rectangle, but um, I prefer not to and stuff. Like the majority of games, you don't really see people. You don't really see people having it. So what you guys want to do is insert a UI corner, and then you could change it to. 20, yeah, 25 should work, and then you could just duplicate it and then drop it into other text label, right? And then you want to move both text labels. You do that by holding control, and then you can select both, and then put it wherever you want to put it. Um, well, maybe do it like, uh, yeah, like that, like right there. That's pretty good. And then make sure you have one green, like one needs to be green, the one overlapping the other one, like the one you can clearly see. Yeah, yeah, right there. Right, so like, look, if I do this, you'll see it's white. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, whatever one you can see needs to be green, and then of course, remove any text the uh, placeholder text is put in the default text or whatever and stuff. Right, um, I guess we'll call them, we'll, we'll call this our um, we'll call this our actual health, actual health text, and then we'll call this our um. Full health text, I guess we'll call it. And then what we want to do is insert a local script into the actual health text, which is the green bar, remember. Then we'll call this, really just call it the same thing, actual health script or health updater, that doesn't matter. Then we're going to get the player, local player is equal to game.players, local player. Then local character is equal to game.workspace, wait for child, player.name. Then we'll do while to do, we'll put a weight 0 0.1 so that obviously it doesn't like crash the game or anything like that. So if we want it to keep running like this, we're using a while loop so that it keeps running. So obviously our health is constantly updated with the delay of point, like a point 0.1 second. But like nobody, you like, you can't really notice that though because it's point 0.1 of a second. But anyway, so what you're just going to do is script dot parent dot size is equal to udm2 new so what you guys want to know is when you go to the size what you're wanting to edit is the x value right this you want to you want to edit the well to, to be more specific you want to you edit the x offset right you want to leave y as it is whatever y is that's what you want to keep so like i'll do that and then come over here and then do zero for x is scale and then over here is what i'm going to do i'll just put a comma right there and then here I'm going to put character dot humanoid dot health. That's gonna be our X so that like the bar like goes back, I should say. I guess you say. Right? But then what we then what we wanna do is character humanoid dot health. And then you what you wanna do is you wanna do like um what's it called? You wanna do multiplication, right? You want to multiply it times a certain amount. Now I don't know this off the top of my head because you kind of have to like you kind of have to like play around with it and then just see like what it takes to get the bar to fill. So, uh, I mean it depends how big the bar is. So we have like a not too big. I'm gonna go with three. I'm gonna go with three. That number that number will all, will all depend on how big your uh, bar is and stuff like that. Now, obviously, if you're following along with the video, then you, you'll be able to do the same thing. And of course, the way to test it so that you would know is that you would go into workspace, then go to your humanoid, and then edit your health. Like, let's see. Like, oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, 90. Yeah, like, as you guys can see, 
like it takes like for me for like for you actually see the difference yeah you see oh oh you see we did it wrong we did it wrong hold on, hold on. wait wait actual how oh i named them i named the wrong i named the wrong oh, okay my fault my fault i named the wrong make sure full health text is is the uh the text bar that's white and then the bar that's green is actual health text. That's the way I did wrong, so I did wrong. Okay. And then uh, move the script over into actual health text. Basically, the script should be in the green bar and stuff. And then the white bar should have no script inside of it. Okay. Now let's look at this. Okay. We'll go to my human eye and then we will drop my health down. Let's like, see, like 90. Oh, well, actually, hold on. Okay, we're close. As you can see, like the bar is like the bar. Hold on. Let me uh, move this. Okay. The bar is almost filled, but not all the way there. Uh, which I like, maybe like 3.3, which I like, and stuff. I want to get the exact, so for people who are following along exactly as I'm doing, you can just do mm, it's a little bit more, try 3.2, if not 3.2, then 3.1 should be good enough, we'll see. Mm, I want to say that's good, let me see, let me see, like if we do 99, no, it's still a little too much, okay. I think 3.1 should be good then, if that's the case. Or it might just be a little, like, you might be able to see, like, a little bit of white. Yeah, yeah, like, see? You can see, like, a little inch, but it's not. If you really want to, like, get it real good, you could probably, like, add in, like, another, point, like, uh, one at the end and stuff. But for the most part, it's it's pretty much there. Stuff, and then, as you guys can see, if, like, I change my health uh, right there. If I change it, it updates it to, you know, match it. You probably would want to move the bar over a little bit, probably. Yeah, probably would want to move the bar over so like it's so like it's more staying in there. If that makes sense. Yeah, you would need to like move the bar over so it's like actually like in it rather than like as you can see like it's out. If that kind of makes sense, you probably need to move it up and stuff. But yeah, though, gets the job done. So yeah. I see you make a health bar. I hope this video was helpful and stuff. As always, the scripts will be in the description so you can see the reference and stuff if you think you did something wrong or just want to see it or whatever and stuff. As always, um, what's it called? As always, you guys can join the Discord. The link's in the description to ask for help and stuff if you're confused or anything or just leave a comment if you're confused. If the video is helpful, drop a like, subscribe. Thank you guys for all the support. And yeah, let's get to 20 subscribers and I'll see y'all.